Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to properly spawn proof your base and also make those things that you use to spawn proof it invulnerable to the mobs. Okay, so you might know that when you place a workbench, you uh, have a radius here and that radius also protects your base from mob spawning. So then you might come over here and place another one to overlap the previous one and another one to overlap that and then go around and place a whole bunch of workbenches all over the place. Well, there's a few problems with this. Let me explain. One, this looks ugly. You don't want workbenches all over your world in your beautiful environment like my beautiful custom made Ashlands right here. But yeah, they don't look nice. The other problem is that when a mob sees it, it's going to just wander over to it and destroy it. So check this out. I have a workbench placed right here. And you can see that one by one floor over there is just outside the radius, right? Okay, so mobs won't spawn inside there. But if a mob does spawn here, just outside the radius of your workbench, eventually it's going to see it like this here. And he's just going to wander over and he's going to destroy it. Then you won't have spawn protection in the area that that workbench was covering. So more mobs will spawn here and then they'll see your other workbenches and wander over to them and destroy them also. I get this question so many times on my YouTube videos in the comments. Why do mobs keep spawning? Well, they don't. They don't spawn in the area that's protected, but they do spawn outside the area that's protected and then wander in and destroy the item that's protecting the spawn. And eventually they'll make your way their way to your base. Okay, so how do you prevent this? Well, right here, right here. See these torches? When you place a torch inside of something, the mobs cannot see them, making them basically invulnerable to the mob. I mean, if they accidentally hit it, they can destroy it, but they won't attack it because they cannot see the torch inside. So you can create something simple like this. And a bonus effect is that you get some lighting in your environment, which can be great at night. Or you can create what I like to call the core wood candle, which looks a little nicer. Or you can put several of them together like this and create something that looks really cool. And the way that you do this is just first off, place your torch, then grab the two meter pole and you'll get used to the distance that you place it after you do it a few times. Uh, if you want to try to get it the next piece right in the center and it's pretty close. It's about right there. And then you hold shift, you target that face, and then you slide it down so you can see a little bit of the, what I call the wick of the torch for your candle. And then you delete that and there you go. I ah, see I didn't get it quite center, but with a little practice, you, you can get it pretty close to centered. And it's done the same way for the core wood beam. Place your torch, place your two meter pole, and then grab your, uh, not the four meter, you'll want the two meter and target that back pole right there and then lower it and delete that. There you go. Now, let me just prove to you that this works, that mobs will not attack these, but they will bypass these, come over here to the workbench and destroy it and destroy these torches that are not hidden inside of these poles. So I'm just gonna spawn in a bunch of fuelings here and see what they do. So you can see right away, they're bypassing all these ones here that are hidden. They've destroyed the to freestanding torches and they've destroyed the workbench that was there. And look at this, they don't care about that at all and the mobs will not spawn in. 
And let me show you that they won't spawn in with these torches here. So I'm gonna delete that stuff. Then I'm gonna use a mod to spawn in some spawners. So I'm gonna say spawner goblin. And I'm gonna place these spawners around here. And you'll notice right now there's nothing spawning. So the mobs aren't spawning at the moment because I'm in ghost mode, but if I come out of ghost mode, you'll see here that they still will not spawn. That's because these torches are here. Now, if I delete these torches with my admin mods here, whoop, just gonna do a quick deletion, you'll see all of a sudden, all the mobs spawn, and of course they're gonna attack me because I'm not in ghost mode right now. I think this is one of the most elegant solutions because it provides lighting as well, and it looks pretty cool, even if you just use the standard wood poles especially early game when you don't have core wood or lots of core wood to use. And that way you prevent spawning and protect your base properly. And if you want to use this trick on a multiplayer server and play with your friends, you can use my link to save 10% on a G portal server. Just go to jirokthevikingcom slash G portal. All right, that's it for now. Have fun out there.